Hey guys, Steve from Exclusive Wraps. Welcome to our video review section, sorry, our car review section. This week, we're gonna be taking a look at the AMG GT Black Series. Montage, boom, 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 boom. Alrighty guys, so this particular example of the AMG GT Black Series has come to us in Magma Beam Orange. One of only a very small selection of colors that you can get this car in. Um, now that is normally a gloss finish. The car has come to us for a full Expel Stealth uh, paint protection film kit. So as you can see, it's no longer a glossy finish, nor is the carbon. Absolutely everything has been stealthed, satin wrapped, matted out. This car is probably gonna be one of the most unique ones in the country because to my knowledge, there's only about 20 of these that are coming to Australia. And so far, I think it's the only one that's been uh, stealth PPF'd. Could be wrong, but I, to my knowledge at this point, that's where it stands. Anyway, let's go for a bit of a walk around the car and we'll give you a look at some of the details. So taking a look at the outside of the car, first thing you're going to notice, heaps and heaps of carbon fibre has been used on this one, obviously to save weight and it looks cool, what can I say? Carbon bonnet, front splitter, side skirts, the rear diffuser, the entire roof and this giant GT wing that you can see on the back here. So if we give you a quick look at what a standard AMG GT looks like on a side profile, you can see the Black Series is a totally different beast completely geared for setting lap records and just smashing speeds essentially. This car has actually just recently taken the uh, lap record at the Nürburgring, stolen it from the Aventador SVJ and has done so with less power thanks to the weight savings and all the aerodynamics that they've put that AMG's engineered in this particular car. Now let's pop the bonnet and let's see what's making all that horsepower. There you go. Take a look at that, that's a really beautiful engine bay there, it's signed by the man that handcrafted that engine himself. A lot of carbon fiber in there as well. And take a look at the gigantic uh, intake that it has there to, to assist with the aerodynamics. That thing is incredible. Now, so what you're looking at here is basically a four liter twin turbo V8, zero to 103.2, what do you make it, 720 horsepower. This thing is definitely no slouch. Like I said, it's a little less, uh, it has a little less horsepower than the SVJ, but all these aerodynamics go towards making it faster across the Nürburgring. And if we take a look around the back of the car, you can take a look at this multi-level adjustable rear wing. So the first stage, this one here, is adjustable with a couple of bolts on the side here, so you can adjust that up and down. The second one, this is an active wing. So when you're driving, this one will adjust depending on acceleration, braking, and various other factors like that. Now, let's take a look inside the boot because Despite this being essentially a dedicated race car, it has quite a substantial boot. There you go. So that's actually quite a lot of boot space for what's essentially a race car. Um, we've actually got some harnesses here. This is a brand new car, so it hasn't been completely fitted out with all its race gear, so to speak, yet. It's got some harnesses there. And take a look at that beautiful titanium roll cage. What else is really crazy about this car is not only is it setting Nürburgring records, it's doing it with a 1000 watt sound system. This has 11 speakers, 11 speakers, and is smashing lap records all at the same time. Crazy. Now let's go around and we'll take a look at the inside of the car. Alrighty, I'm gonna put this seat cover on because, because I am. Now, in true Mercedes fashion, this, uh, this interior is super, super luxurious looking. Let me just close this door. Alrighty, so Alcantara all over the place. Carbon fiber inserts, two cup holders for you and a mate, and these amazing fixed back carbon bucket seats. So I don't know if you can see along the back there where there's no leather in Alcantara trimming, carbon fiber, 
beautiful. Um, you've got obviously standard seat belts as well, but as you would have seen, there are harnesses as well that can be installed. Uh, like I mentioned, this has got an 11 speaker sound system, which is crazy because there's tweeters up the top there, there's speakers down the bottom uh, of the footwells and also in the doors, and an awesome infotainment system. Um, beautiful steering wheel, mostly round, trimmed in Alcantara as well with some gloss black accents. And it even has traction control dial. Now this is a rear wheel drive car, so this this, you can get this thing really sideways if you want to. Another thing about these cars, now I personally I love AMG GTs, I think the silhouette's beautiful, great shape. You sit really, really low in this car, so we'll try and get you a bit of footage of my head height. Now, like I've probably mentioned in a video, I'm about 175, 178 centimeters tall. Looking from here, the steering wheel is just in line with the edge of the bonnet, and it looks like that bonnet goes forever. So it's a little bit daunting driving a car around like this because that front end is really far away. That's probably roughly what I'm seeing. Yeah. How do you tell if your speakers are high end? It says high end on it. All right, another very cool feature of the interior of this car. This car has about five or six different drive modes that you can drive in, all selectable using this little dial right here. Exhaust switch to powerful. Alrighty guys, that wraps up our review on the AMG GT Black Series. I'm Steve from Exclusive Wraps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, if you enjoyed these videos, like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Whoa, whoa, clear out the room. I'm coming through. They want to see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills. Do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. Extra, extra, read about it. I'm today's trying to tap it. I put commas over bullshit. Yeah, I put that on mamas. They trying to block on my blessings. They thought I lost the snapping. I bet on me and my team. I am so